Parmentier, um, which is kind of a bit of a French version of a shepherd's pie or cottage pie. Okay. Um, so what we need is rather a lot of shallot stroked onion. So I know you've been doing pretty well here, um, but just a bit more you need to do. So I think you're getting kind of quite good at this um, chopping or this finally chopping. I think the chopping's all right. It's the um, usually the peeling of the onion that takes all the time. <laughs> No Gordon Ramsay, but it's getting better. Nice sharp knife as well, I think. Makes a difference, doesn't it, to keep a nice sharp It does. You should sharpen them before you start and when you're finished. So I think if you finish that one then, um, do the garlic, what have I put there? Probably four or five garlic. Yeah. And if you could crush and chop those as well, pop them into the mix. And then um, you just need to fry those off lightly in some, in some butter. Um, and then I'll, we can, I'll let you know what we're gonna do next. Wonderful. So comfit de canard is something that you can buy in tins in France, um, which is really useful actually, because it's, um, you can make comfit de canard or, or com duck comfit yourself, um, but it just takes a little while to, um, to cook it um, in the oven. So you, you cook it very slowly in oil in the oven. Um, whereas this way, it's all prepared already in a tin, um, and we just need to strip it off the bones. Um, I know you don't like that job, so I'll do that. Um, and then we'll get ready to mix it with the onion and garlic um, that you've already prepared. Um, and we also then stir in some parsley, lots of salt and pepper, um, and we make some mash to go on the top. Um, so I've peeled the potatoes. Might that. need a knife to get it out though. Hang on no, a second. Hang on. <laughs> so we're going to mash it. It's a bit gooey. All that gorgeous duck fat there, we'll keep that because we can have Don't that. Don't lose it. Don't lose any of that because we could use that in our roast potatoes tonight. So we've got pork tonight with fennel um, and that will be lovely to uh, to cook that okay perfect lovely okay so I'm just gonna I'm just putting these in here just so they drain off a little bit and we can save all this gorgeous duck fat Ooh. Take a seat and do this. Literally pulling it off the bone and then we'll discard the bones and just shred the meat up a bit. And then it's going to get mixed in with all the gorgeous onion and garlic you've just cooked. <laughs> I'm just frying up the onions and garlic. Um, and then we're going to add those to the duck in a minute. There we go. That's going to go into there. So I've prepared all the duck, it's all shredded. Um, you can pop them in there now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Now we just need to chop some parsley and add that, mix that in as well. Um, I'm boiling the potatoes. Um, so we'll get those mashed and that's going to go on the top. Excellent, so um, mashed potato with some creme fraiche, um, 
probably half of that, that pot was left, do you reckon? I think about half. Yeah. Um, some seasoning in there. Now, just tasting it, are you? Yeah, that's seasoned enough. That's yeah? fine. Perfect. Now, if we dob that on the top here. Dob it. Well, you know, present it nicely. It's going to cover it, basically. Okay, now just for um, extra flavour, we just need to, this time we do dob, oh no, it's a little hole over there, just to cover that little hole in on the edge there, over there, that's it, otherwise the sort of the bit or the duck or all the juices or all those of the ooze over the topping. Okay, now if we dob. What, coat it? You say no, dob, but. Just some, put some like little, um, a spoon. Say eight dobs over it. Just allow that to drop? Yep. So we're just going to finish the topping off with a little bit of cheese. So this is just grated comte. Um, not too much. And a little bit of grated parmesan, which is always good. That adds a bit of um, saltiness to it. actually gone 40 minutes because it's a quite a big pie for us um, but has to be said that it looks amazing <laughs> hope you're hungry mm -hmm.